Hey, everybody. Welcome to today's show. Appreciate you being here watching with me, whether you're catching me live or uh, on the replay. Today, we're going to be talking about the question, so what fear has you set, shut down or silent, right? Because one of the things that's going on in our society today is this big mass rush of mob fear, fear everywhere, fear from a pandemic, fear from people in the street, fear from from uh, overregulation, fear from no regulation, fear, 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 right? And people are, have just either gotten really violent with their fear or they've just kind of shrunk back and are hiding. On my morning wake up call, call the morning wake up call.com, I've been talking about fear. I've been talking about fear. Why do we find ourselves so afraid? And so quiet, or so angry, or so like paralyzed because of fear. Now, fear happens to us for three reasons. I mean, real fear, fear that we're supposed to have. Like, if an animal's chasing us that can destroy our life, then we should have fear for the moment to figure out what do I do now? Do I climb a tree? Do I take other action? Do I hide? Do what do I do? But then it's over. It, it doesn't, you don't live with that for days and 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 days. And days. Or if someone is trying to attack our life, right? Like take our life or put us in danger. Uh, we, we have a, a moment of fear. But to carry it around for days and days and days and years and decades and, and, and generations, no, that's not, that's not, that's not fear. It's not fear. That's something else we're going to talk about. Or you find yourself in a dangerous position, like maybe to fall off a cliff or to, or to, to find yourself in a, in a car accident or something like that where you're physically in danger. Your body says, you got to do something here. And for a moment, your focus is snatched away from whatever you're doing. And it is put in place. It is put in place of it a, a response mechanism to do something here. And then it goes away. As soon as, it, as soon as there's no reason to be fearful, we do something else, right? So, hey, thanks for being with us today on the show. We're going to be talking about this. Uh, and the, the reality is for, for people, uh, it is uh, people are, are afraid, right? They're, 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 they find themselves fearful of all kinds of things. Why? 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 Because, well, because, you know, the opposite of fear is freedom. The opposite of fear is freedom. That is the ability to be free, free from the anxiety of fear, free from the captivation of fear, free from all the things that come to us at fear. Well, fear, fear, fear oftentimes is, is conditioned to us. It's conditioned to us. You see, you see a video of, of, of a, five-year-old or a six-year-old saying, mommy, is that policeman going to arrest me? Now, where did a six-year-old get that fear? Where would they be asking that question? Six-year-olds don't ask that question. They don't even know really what a policeman is at that age, unless they've been conditioned to be afraid of, of, of somebody. Same thing is true. Think about it. When you come into this world, this is common sense. For all of my audience that has common sense, this will make perfect sense. For those of you that don't have any sense, you'll be leaving here scratching your head thinking, what? So here it is. When you're born into this world, you have no fear. You have no fear. Think about it. Babies have no fear. They're not afraid. Now, they can be startled when something surprises them, but, but that's, that's a natural response, an impulse. Oh, what was that? But it goes away once, once recognition is made. We have no fear. We are taught most of the time to be afraid of things. We're taught to be afraid of things. We're told to be afraid of things. We're conditioned to be afraid of things. And many times that fear comes from well-intended people. People who love us. People who care about us. People who say they want the very best for us. You know, it, 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 it comes in that package. 
It comes in that package. And and so we're 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 told, you've been told these things. I bet when I when I when I share these things with you, I wrote them down over here. I want to pull them over on, on, on my pad here. I, I want to want you to think about these things. You've been told this by well-intended people. Matter of fact, I call them the worriers. The worriers. And most worriers live with us. You know, they might be like right over there. Or they 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 might meet us at the table today. They they might sleep next to us. Uh, they 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 we might work with them, but they're they're the worriers, and and they condition us toward fear. Toward fear, like be careful, that might hurt you. I hear I hear parents say that to kids all the time. Be careful! And I'm looking and going. They're just playing. They're just, they're just playing. They're, they're doing what kids do. Why, why are you telling them to be careful? They might get hurt. Because you're, because that's what somebody did to you and you're passing that on. You're passing that on. Oh, you see that policeman? Be, 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 watch out for that policeman. They'll, 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 they'll put you in jail. Really? Really? They, they, police go around looking for kids to put in jail? No. You're teaching them fear. You're teaching them an unnatural fear. Oh, be afraid of that dog. Watch that dog. They might bite you. So a kid grows up fearful of dogs when dogs don't normally bite people. See, see, well-intended people, the warriors in life, teach us to be afraid. We get conditioned to be afraid. Be careful. That might hurt you. Be careful. Be careful. You don't know what might happen. So be careful, you know, and, and, and what, what comes about in people's lives is that very thing is, is they create things in their life that are unpredictable because they go around looking for, well, I don't know what could happen. So I better be, I better, I better be careful. I better put up my guard. All right. Be careful. Be careful. They might fire you. Be careful. You might lose your job. Be careful, they might they might forget you. You don't want them to forget you. You don't want to be forgotten. Be careful, they might reject you. They might turn away from you. Be careful. Be careful, they might hate you. Now, you know, now the big thing is hate. If if that whole campaign to condition us that we're in this together was all a conditioning exercise to teach us that if we're not on the same page as you, wherever that might be, is somehow we hate you. We hate you. So if my view doesn't line up with your view, then we're supposed to hate each other because we're supposed to be in this together. But who knows what that means, right? Most people don't know what that means because they hadn't had a dialogue to understand what that means because they're afraid. They're afraid of, of, what, of what they might hear. Because they've been conditioned. Well, you know, they're not going to agree with you. So, you know, just leave them alone. Or, hey, you know, how many times have we heard kids do this? Say to other other kids, well, if you don't do this, I'm not going to be your friend. See, that's a, that's a position of fear. I'm going to scare you into being my friend. <laughs> how ludicrous is that? But kids do it. Where did they hear that? They didn't learn that naturally. Nobody told them. Now, you know, they, they heard it from their adults in their life. Well, be careful. Because those, those people might really make life hard for you if you if you cross them. Be careful. Be careful they might pick on you. See, we're conditioned to be afraid. By well-intended people, by the warriors in our life, the people that love us and, and they want the best for us and they want think good things to happen for us. But so they start out to, to protect us. And instead, they instill fear in us as a habit. See, fear, fear can be overcome. As, as one great orator once said, in the midst of a terrible, dark time, there's nothing to fear but fear itself. You see, 
Fear can rule your life and keep you from the things in life you should be after, the things you want, the things you dream about, the freedom that should come to you and the freedom that you should have, the freedom you're entitled to. But fear keeps you from it. Fear that you've been conditioned to because it's not a natural thing. It's the warrior around you have instilled that in you. They wanted to, quote, prepare you for what might come. How many times have you been told, are you sure you want to do that? Are you sure you really want to do that? You know, there all kinds of people have 10 reasons why you shouldn't do something. But they never utter a word of what would happen if you did something and it changed the world. See, we're, 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 we're conditioned to fear. We're conditioned to fear by all kinds of things around us. How many times have people told you, told you, you won't like that. You, you won't like that. Why, why would they say that? How do they know? They don't. But they want you to know you you won't like that. And it plans, well, okay. Well, okay, I guess I probably won't like this. So I'm not even going to try it. That's not who you are. That's not who you are. Well, who says that's not who I am? Why would you say that? That's not who you are. See, people, people want you to be who they are. They want you to fit in their little comfort zone. They want, want you to be like them. See, the whole gang thing, the whole whole group concept of everybody, let's say everybody be alike, think alike, act alike, do all this stuff so that nobody's different. So there's no, there's no reason to be different. And there's no reason to be more than what we wind up being. And that's average at best. Because the people who step outside their fear and go for freedom suddenly have a totally different look at life. They believe you can be whatever you want to be. They believe you can do whatever you want to do. They believe you can, can have what you want to have. They believe those things and they go for those things. But people who live in fear, they don't because, because somebody has told them that that's not who you are or the classic. You can't do that. You can't do that. You don't have the skills to do that. You weren't born on the right side of the uh, of town to do that. You you didn't go to the right school to do that. Now, I mean, you didn't even go to school. Why do Why do you think you could do that? You know, you don't, you don't you don't you don't have this to be able to do that. And you don't have this to be able to do that. And besides, everybody's against you. Don't you know that? You you can't do that. And they tell their they tell the people around them that. Now, again, don't understand, misunderstand me. Those worry people. They, they have our best interests at heart. They love us. They want the best for us. They want things to be a certain way for us. And they think they're helping us. And all they're doing is teaching us a lifetime and maybe generational times of being afraid, of fearing things, of fearing things. Another, another common one that they, they share. Well, that's not really your thing. That's not really your thing. Well, what is your thing? What is your thing? Do you know what your thing is that you should be doing? That's not really your thing. Well, what do you, what do you mean by that is because my thing's different than your thing, it, it, it's not the right thing for me? And oftentimes that's, that's, that's what they mean is, is that you need to fall in line instead of be a person that seeks freedom. You see, fear is taught to us. Now, I would encourage you today to, to be thinking about the people around you. Learn to get some ears to listen. Learn to get some ears to listen about those comments of fear. See how often they come up with people around you. And then learn to, to deflect those. Because here's what's going to happen. You see, there, there's this mountain called fear that, that the people who live on the other side have freedom. They climbed over that mountain. They conquered their, their fears. And they live over there in freedom. But, but the people on this side of the mountain, 
they don't want you to go over there. Matter of fact, most of the world lives on this side of the mountain at the at the foothill of fear. And now they'll tell you, well, you, know, you can you can you you might can go around this thing, you know, don't face your fear, just kind of move around it. Well, guess what? The the it's too big. You can't get around it. But the, but they don't want you to, to to try. They don't want you to get outside the norms because because then that means they might could do it. And hey, let's face it, it's too hard. It's, it's too hard to, to overcome the, you can't do this. It's, it's, it's too much work. It's too hard to, to believe something else, even though somebody tried to get you to believe this thing on with no basis whatsoever. It's, it's too hard to undo all that. You know, it's too much to explain. It, it might make you look bad. It might, it might make you feel uncomfortable. It might embarrass you. It, it might do all these things to you if you did all that. You know, So stay over here. Stay over here on the side of fear. Because, because you know, those people over there in freedom, I, I don't know about them. They, they, they just look at life totally different. They, they, they approach life totally, totally different. You should stay over here, here with us, because that, 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 that's where we live in, in fear. And so in our world today, we've got all these people running around trying to instill fear in people trying to teach people, be afraid, be afraid, be afraid, be afraid, do this, be afraid. Cause if you don't do this, then, 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 then you're, you're making us afraid, you know, guilt. They try to lay the guilt on you. Right. So I want to encourage you today, friends, get your stuff together, tune up your ears start listening for all the excuses of fear that people around you are doing and start slowly moving away from that conversation. I'm not saying you kind of ignore those people because you might live with them. You might work next right to them. They might be your parents. They might be your kids. They might be your spouse. They might, they might be your best friend. But understand when you hear those words, they're, they're, they're injecting fear into your life. See, that's all the talk going on right now is, is fear. We're afraid. We're afraid. But people who seek freedom, the freedom fighters, will rise up and say, you know, enough's enough. I'm not going to. Yeah, exactly right. Faith over fear, Tim. Faith over fear is to step out and go beyond. Now, Tim and I have some things in common. I'll use Tim as an example. Tim does things that very, very few people in life would ever do, ever do. Climb hundreds of feet. I don't know, maybe a th maybe even thousands of feet. Up in the air on a pole with just a strap around it and climb up there to work on something. You talk about having a different view of the world. He gets them often. But you have to not be afraid to do it. There's a fear you have to overcome, a real fear. I mean, because you mess up up there, it's a long way to the ground and a very unhappy ending when you get there. But it can be overcome. See, every day, people in our lives who should run away, run into it. People every day who things that are a fearful moment strap on life and move forward. People run out of a fire, but there's a group of people that run into a fire. People usually run from bullets and hide from bullets, but there's people who stand up and walk into bullets. There's people, there's people who, who when there's a bad accident, it's a horrible scene and most people are over in the ditch losing their guts. And there's people who show up and step right into it and, and grab a hold of it. See, those people have learned that fear is an impulse that can be overcome. But there's a lot of us who just live in fear. We live in fear. 
fear we're going to be rejected. We fear if we say something, somebody's not going to like us. We're afraid. We fear if we take a stand against something that people are going to treat us different. We're fearful of our job. We're fearful of our friends. We're fearful of words. We're, we're fearful. And fear wins. But I want to encourage you today. Every day begin to think, I am going to be in a battle between two things. And either fear is going to win or freedom is going to win. And I want to encourage you today, friend. Let freedom start winning. Because it will make a huge difference. Freedom wins. Our fear wins. I hope you choose freedom. I hope you choose freedom today. Because life on the other side of fear is so different. It's so more much enjoyable. It's so more, much more pleasant to be around people who believe in your ability who believe in your potential, who believe you can do whatever you want to do, who can believe you can go wherever you want to go, who believe that you can have what you want to have. Those people, those people is what makes life worth living. Those people who want to hold you back, push you down, teach you for generations that you should be afraid of something that there's no, that there's no, no reason to be afraid of. Push them back. Push them back. Close your ears. Push them back. Make a decision. For fear is not going to win. Freedom wins. Hey, see you next time on Mailbox Nuggets. Come back and be with us if this was helpful to you or if somebody you know. Would you just hit, click the share button and pass it along? If you're watching me on the replay here, I encourage to, you, for, you to put your message in the chat box. Let me know. So what fear has you set down or silent? Encourage you to do that today. Encourage you to do that today. We'll see you next time on Mailbox Nuggets.